Welcome to the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. I'm Meg Morrison. And I'm Mark Kennedy, and today we are back in southern Alberta as we visit a Play Golf Calgary course with a brand new facelift, the Heather Glen Golf Course. This 27-hole public track is on the outskirts of Calgary in Rocky View, Alberta. With a renovated clubhouse, additional nine holes, and immaculate views, the Heather Glen Golf Course is a course you'll definitely want to challenge. Our guest today is an eight-time Paralympic medalist and winner of a record six medals in Pyeongchang, Korea. Paralympic biathlete and Nordic skier, Mark Arends. Welcome to the Pro-Am Golf Show, Mark. Thanks for having me. How is your golf game? Um, I wish it was doing more than I uh, am, but uh, you know, I take shots on the range more so. Perfect. Well, it's not like you're not a busy guy. Yes. Six-time medalist. Yes, Olympics. that was a busy week. <laughs> yeah, and you've been here, there, and everywhere doing some skiing and yep. everything like that. Coast so, to coast. Yeah, so that is completely understandable. Today might be a little confusing because I have Mark with K, Mark with a C. It's like Marky Mark and I'm the funky bunch. That's what today is, that right? That's terrible. No? Okay. Well, this funky bunch is going to kick your butt today. Okay. We are going to head out to number three here on the Grove at the Heather Glen Golf Course and meet up with COO of Play Golf Calgary, Slade King. He'll start us off with a tip. The pro tip is brought to you by Cantor, Canadian assembly tools built like Canada. Beautiful, tough, designed to last. We're at a par three here today. We're going to hit a knockdown shot, keep the ball out of the wind and try to hit the green. So first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna see that the leaves are blowing a little bit. So we'll try to keep the ball below the tree line. So we're gonna set up basically on your front foot, which is a little bit different than what you normally do because you wanna be a little bit more centered. But if we get on your front foot, lean forward a little bit, you're gonna push your hands forward. And that's gonna take a little bit of loft off the club, keep that ball down. And then the last part is just make sure you follow through and you're gonna follow through low instead of taking the club all the way up into a normal finish. Keep that ball low and let's hit the green. Oh, was that ever oh, smooth? Look at that. Go oh. in. Oh. oh. Yes. Yeah, that's yep. a great shot, Slade. Well done. It's kind of a tough shot. Why do you look so confused? I'm trying to remember everything. Ooh, that was pretty yeah, cool. yeah. That looks really good. Is it? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, oh, I'm deep. Ooh. I clubbed up. Too hard. Knock it on, Mark. It's oh, fun. yeah. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Two hops and... Great shot. Nice. Wow. Wow. Just like that one. Wow. That was awesome. That was good. Do you have a knockdown in your bag? We shall see. I guess only if you ever try them. Oh, turn on me. Turn. Oh. Well, not too bad. All right, we will take a quick break. We'll come back and play the rest of the first hole here on the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH. A fitness boutique where you focus on you. Yes, you can. Keep going here. You guys got this. No matter what age or fitness level, we offer modification to suit each client's needs. You can do it. Hang on to it. You're almost through it. Keep breathing. Your time, your space, your studio. Tighten, lengthen, strengthen, unwind. You look beautiful. Hang on. Three, two, and release. Sculpt Fit, Spruce Grove. Where golf is fun, Heather Glen Golf Course creates an enjoyable and affordable experience for all ages and skill sets. With its 27 holes and ability to fit groups of all sizes, Heather Glen is the perfect destination for your next event. Affordable annual memberships also available with the choice of weekday or full week passes. Great value, great course conditions, and friendly staff. Visit heatherglengolf.com for more information. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. We're here today at the Heather Glen Golf Course with eight-time Paralympic medalist Mark Arends. Eight you? times? Yes. It's a lot of medals. Do you want to ask him what that's like? What's that like <laughs> to win that many medals? It's, it's a lot of work, but, uh, and it's a heavy backpack when coming home. 
from the, it was just one backpack that was medals and teddy bears. See, Mark, it's a lot of work. Mine wasn't that heavy <laughs> coming home. Just a fourth place certificate. <laughs> wah, wah. Oh. Okay, well, we've executed our shot after the pro tip. You are in the best position. Mark and I still need to do some chips here, so let's get to it. This is the rest of the first hole. Just a season of awkward stances. Go. Like that. Oh, it's got to that go. One. That's not terrible, Meg. Not terrible, but I wanted it to go in for birdie. Yeah. It's a pretty location that you're in, Mark. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty shot. I just keep I focusing on that, you know. Pretty shot. Yeah. Pretty shot. Up and down. Yeah. Oh, I just drilled that. Sit. Oh, that's, that's too strong. Yep. Yeah. Less it's, weight. You're too strong. I was too weak. And, and Mark has the advantage. That's right. We'll see. Mark, before we hit these putts, we want to ask you a few questions. And obviously, a main one that we want to ask you, we know that you're from PEI, and yep. I believe that I read that it was a farming accident, and that's mm -hmm. how you lost your arm? Yeah, so when I was seven years old, I was just on the farm helping my dad uh, do some work. Decided to go past this machine that's called a grain auger, and it was unloading some grain from a truck. And being seven, I was curious, but also I saw some grain that wasn't quite going into the machine. So I decided, I wanted to help, so I decided to give it a push with my hand. When I did that, I kind of lost my balance because I went on one foot. And as I did that, I shot both hands out as a reaction. Uh, my right hand landed on the safe part of the machine, but my left hand landed on the guards. But the guards are meant for a foot, um, to prevent a foot from going into it, the blades, or just the hand, like a full-grown hand. Being seven, that hand just went right through and went instantly right up to my shoulder. And um, fortunately, the truck driver realized something was wrong quite instantly. And so he jumped out of the truck, he ran to the tractor, and there's these two large rubber belts that power the machine. And he just grabbed them with his glo hand, gloved hands and pulled them right off. And that stopped the in instantly stopped the machine. When my dad came out, he tried to pull me out, but I was so entangled in the machine, I just couldn't get out. So the truck driver and my dad actually had to reverse the machine and kind of send it backwards. Uh, so until I got, finally got out. And then my dad rushed me to the hospital in Charlottetown. That's incredible. All I keep thinking of too is just being a parent and mm -hmm. seeing your kid in that situation. Yeah. And I think the first little while it was really tough on my parents, more so than even myself. First couple of days, I didn't believe they even took my arm. I, uh, there was a lot of bandages and I could still feel it. I yeah. still had that neural connection. So I'm like, oh, it's just a cast. I'll be good in six weeks. A week after the accident, when I saw my stump for the first time, that's when I finally realized, okay, there is no arm and that's not gonna grow back. Um, but this was something new for me. I've never seen anyone with an amputation. And I think it was first a while, it was tough for them just to be like, okay, this is our son now. What has he got to do? Um, and fortunately, I was involved with the Warrams a month after my accident, like to the day oh, a month wow. I went to my first seminar. And there's 60, 70 kids running around this hotel. And you got two months year old that are missing an arm or a leg. And you have um, guys that are 24 or, uh, you know, older in med school. And that really showed my parents and kind of took that stress off them to say, okay, he can do whatever he wants. That's awesome. Still. You have such an incredible story. We'll get to more of it. We have to somehow focus again and get back to golf. It's not a short putt. No. Get it there. Ooh, look at this. Odd. Good speed. That is an ah, excellent yeah. putt. Nice leg putt. Wow. These are some long putts we left ourselves. Must make long par putt. Those are the best ones. Hold oh, it. Turn. On. Turn. Good speed. That does not turn. We're going to give you that one for bogey. Okay. And for bogey. Thinking wind is a big factor in this one. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Probably push it a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, just tap this, Mark. You need me to make this. Don't you? Kind of. Oh, it has a chance. Yeah. Oh. oh. Great chance. <sighs> but. Mark has a chance for the win. Yeah. Yeah, gotta make Up it. Up to you for par. 
I've been in this situation, it's not good. For the win. Just like that. Easy. Got it. Nice putt. Nice putt, putt. Nice, 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 nice par. You won the hole. Mark and I are down going into holes two and three. Yep. Nice. Very well played. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll come back and play the second hole here on the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH. Before we do that, let's take a look at making the cut. It's brought to you by the ATV Classic, August 6th through 12th at the Country Hills Golf Course in Calgary. In just his third start as a professional, University of Arizona alum George Cunningham found the winner's circle. And with his family in town at the Golf BC Championship, it was a very special Father's Day Sunday for the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada rookie, who now has his sights set on earning a spot at the RBC Canadian Open, awarded to the three players atop the Order of Merit after the Osprey Valley Open in mid-July, and more importantly, a top five spot on the year-end Order of Merit. Watch for George at the ATV Classic at Country Hills. Cantork is the fastest company in the bolting business. We power drivers in karting, Grand Am, NASCAR, and even run at over 385 kilometers per hour at the Indy 500. So you know we're fast. But we're not just fast, we're Canadian, and so are our tools. Made in Edmonton, we've taken everything Canadian. Beauty, durability, friendly and polite, and combine them all with our industry leading speed. Find out more at Cantorc.com. Join Mark and me next May on the golf trip of a lifetime, conveniently planned just weeks prior to that same course being the host of the 2019 US Open. You'll enjoy a chartered return flight direct from Edmonton to Monterey Airport in California. Three nights accommodation and three rounds of golf at three world-class golf courses. The hard part is done for you. Now all you have to do is commit. Visit proamgolfshow.ca for more details and to book your seat. A family-run business looking out for your best interest. That's what the Black Dirt Company has created. A business built on customer care, relationships, respect, and high performance. The Black Dirt Company will assist you and inspire you in the brand new Product Discovery Center. We know landscaping can be a lot of work. Let us carry the load. Visit us in Spruce Grove, south of the tracks. Our dirt is your dirt at blackdirtcompany.com. And we're back at the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. We are here at the beautiful Heather Glen Golf Course with three-time Paralympian Mark Arentz. We brought the wind for you today. Yeah. Do you like golfing in the wind? Uh, I'd rather ski in the wind, but not golf in the wind. Really? Yeah. And you get wind burn. At least you don't get that on the golf course for the most part. Fair enough. Yeah, we don't go fast enough to get that here. At least we hope not anyway. You guys like you and I get sunburned yeah. on the golf course. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Just like them too. Not like me, apparently. All right, after the first hole, this mark has a one hole lead. Let's get to the second hole. It's brought to you by the golf cart people driving the future. Box is yours, my friend. Yeah, now that makes me nervous. Oh, good shot. Nice drive, Mark. Fairway. All right. Fairway That's is good. That's impressive. Sit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, don't. Maybe. Maybe, Maybe fairway. It's out there, though. That's all right. Maybe yeah. sand. Par five, good shot. They say swing softer in the wind. Yeah, swing easy when it's breezy. Good luck, though. There Over it is. The Ooh, got through, I think. Yeah, they got through. That was gutsy. Ooh, a little lucky. I wasn't aiming there. Yeah, well, good Take shot. Take it. Thanks. You've been so good with your driver this season, so these par fives are easy for you. Yeah. Like that, just yeah. deadly. Absolutely deadly. Wait, that might be too far. Wow, no. Nope. Oh, fairway's good. Gorgeous, yep. <laughs> Perfectly done. Thank this you. Okay, Mark, get a safe one out there. Just out? It's anywhere out. Oh, good That's shot. That's good. too much. Sit, sit. I think that's fine there. I think there. you're safe. Safe. It's gonna make a very entertaining next shot. That's yeah. Good shot, though. That was a good drive, Meg. You got a little ways in still. Yeah. I think if you hit this good, it's too much club, but. We shall see. I'm doing knockdown, three wood. Oh yeah, okay. 
We're in Burner. You're, you're actually going to love Watch it. this. Watch this. Just go. keep going. Go. Just keep going. Go. Oh, yeah. Just keep going. It's going. Just keep, yep, just about five feet off the green. Good yeah. shot. That is a hard shot to do in golf. If you ever want tips on it, just give me a call. That one, it's not for everybody, but I, that's what I tried to do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good shot. Mm -hmm. I get to hit a knockdown. See, it yeah. comes into play a lot yeah, today. Is that because of that tree? The tree is in my way, I think, a little bit. You oh, know, I if you just keep it on the ground as well, that's also called a knockdown. <laughs> Gotta go. Or sit. <laughs> Make up your mind. Ooh, might have stopped. Maybe you should club down a bit. Too hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we found you. Yep. You have a couple of branches in your way, kinda. Maybe. We'll see. But lots of green to work with. Knocking down. I think Knocked this is down. the perfect place for it. Yeah. Tip of the day. That was perfect. perfect. Yes. Great yes. shot. Nice, Mark. Just like that. I like it. So, Mark, you had a devastating injury, mm -hmm. and then you kind of have a choice of what to do with it. And right. you chose something incredibly positive. Tell us a little bit about how you got into sport and okay. uh, what it did for you. Uh, at first, I guess I didn't really uh, see the disability um, that much. I just, especially since I. Most of my focus and what I really wanted to do was soccer, running, those things where I knew I, was, I had that athletic ability, um, so I didn't need the second arm. But growing, through, growing up with, the, uh, with one arm, it allowed me sports to kind of give, find that equal ground, that equal playing field, I guess, so to speak, with everyone else because I was so good with, uh, on my feet, I guess. Um, and that finally led to, eventually, I discovered uh, cross-country skiing and the biathlon side of things after watching it at the Games in 02. After about three years on the World Cup, I finally got my opportunity to race at my first Paralympic or compete at my first Paralympic Games. And for me, that was a big turning point because seeing the Games for the first time, I knew, like, I wanted to do my best, uh, but I didn't know what the Games were about. I credit that flight home from Vancouver to PEI again as the kind of the turning point of, okay, now I want to be at the very best, my very best and one of the best in the world. Uh, and in Sochi, I came, you know, fractions of a second close to that, 0.7 from gold medal. So yeah, next four years uh, leading into Korea was about a driving point when I didn't really want to do anything was 0.7 of a second. Um, and I kind of joke now, I trained for four years to get one second better. And I know I had to be faster, of course, but uh, it was about that. For me, that meant the little things, you know, those little tweaks here and there that was going to make the difference. And uh, I did everything I could, get the best preparation I could going into Korea. And yeah, from day one, it just was there. That's really cool. There's so many things that we want to ask you about, but let's finish off this hole here. Uh, we still have a little bit of work to do to get on the green, I believe. So now I will teach you a knockdown putt. A little bit easier to do than a knockdown three wood. It's all about keeping it on the ground as with the three wood. Oh, Gotta wow. go, that has to go, 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 go. So just like that, Not bad. you can execute yeah. your shot and then maybe make birdie. Oh, this doesn't feel comfortable, but... You're nice and close at this point. Just get something on there anyway. This is to be on in four. Fun in three, rather. Fun in three. Ooh, well, that was a great bounce. bounce. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, that's a birdie putt. That is a birdie putt. Just knock it in. That'd be great. No. Chicken devil? Yeah. You're on though. You need to make this, Megan. <laughs> Why do I always feel like I'm getting in trouble around you, Marcus? <laughs> well, you hit it hard enough. Oh, right in the heart. Yes. What a putt. Birdie. Wow. Birdie. Call that a worm burner birdie. Birdie. It's a good clap. Thank you. Yes. 
I guess I have to make that. Or I'm Just, gonna... you know what? That was a textbook par five. Oh, we don't want to listen to this. Is this uncomfortable where, while we stand here? No, like Mark said, performance on demand. You guys yeah. aren't even there. What? Don't even see me. For the push. Oh, crap. I saw you lipping that out all day. You saw wrong, Meg. I did see wrong. I'm terrible at visualizing, apparently. With that... Oh, Mark's still up. You're still up one, going into the third and final hole. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back and play that here on the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services, with branches in Slave Lake, Wabaskin, Whitecourt, and Atchison. We've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. From a start of 22 carts in 1997 to becoming Western Canada's largest club car dealer, you know you're in good hands with the golf cart people. Whether it's on the course, at the lake, or just for the fun of it, the golf cart people are equipped to meet your needs. From sales, service, parts, customized accessories, and rentals. We'll suit you up with a newer used cart or go the extra mile in a fully customized beauty sure to turn heads. The golf cart people, driving the future. A warm welcome awaits you at the Glenmore Inn and Convention Center. We take pride in offering guests a choice from 169 spacious guest rooms and suites with amenities to please business and leisure travelers alike. Enjoy the superb on-site dining at the Garden Court Buffet with a wide variety of delightful dishes. And with the ability to host 1,200 people, we are the perfect spot for your next event, big or small. The Glenmore Inn and Convention Center, offering superior customer service. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. We are here today at the Heather Glen Golf Course in beautiful Calgary, Alberta, with Paralympian and PEI native, Mark Arendt. Yes. So you're an eight-time medalist. What's yep. the breakdown on those? So from Korea, it's one gold, two silver, and three bronze. And then from Sochi, it was a silver and a bronze. Do you ever wear them all at once and just walk into a room? Oh, I'd be scared too. Uh, the six from Korea are enough. They're really heavy. Uh, like even the three together are heavy. Then putting all six on was heavy. Uh, I've done maybe three or four times where I've actually had all six on. Eight tough, would, tough problem to have. Mm -hmm. Would scare me. <laughs> I don't think it would scare anybody else. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, right now you have a one hole lead going into the yeah. third and final yeah. hole. Hole number three brought to you by Pro Star Energy, building cutting edge rig packages. Birdie's up on this one. Yeah, that wind is havoc. Uh, it might have to sit. Good. Sit. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. What a shot. Yeah, it's all right. It's a good shot. Pressure's on. Yeah, this is my thing, I think. Get the feel. Yeah. Yeah, I get the feeling you're pretty used to that. Go. Sit. That's not bad. It's a layup. Yeah, that's not what I wanted out of this one. <laughs> Short shot, sometimes trickier. Yeah. Yep. Three quarters. I'm feeling that. Looks pretty good to me. Oh, you might, oh wow. You might really like that. I took a little bit too much off of that. That's good, okay. Good um, that's that. a good miss. I'll take that. Don't worry about the water. No. Don't worry about that no. trap. It's always frozen when I touch water. <laughs> good shot. Sit. Well, the good news is you have a shot. Yep. The bad news is this has to go in or you're out of the hole. Yeah. I hear that. OK. Oh, that's really good. That's going to be quite close. Seriously? Oh, wow. oh. <laughs> good shot. Wow. You went out uh, on a high, though. Yeah. That was a great chip. 
So Mark, you told us a little bit about how you got into skiing. Uh, was there anybody in particular that helped you along the way or that inspired you to take up sport and become a Paralympian? Um, I think there's a handful or even more people that definitely helped along the way, but big one for me was actually community. So the day after my accident, um, a dozen strangers just came to the farm to help my dad in whatever way. Some of them had never stepped foot on a farm before. Um, and that was kind of hearing that story a couple days later, that really opened my eyes up to what a community um, can be and what a community is. Um, and since then, after once I got back on my feet and could uh, do whatever I wanted again, uh, I really looked for ways to give back to that community that helped me out when I had my accident. Um, so that whether that was volunteering at the soccer club or refereeing or anything like that. And then finally it kind of came to me where the sport, what I do in sport allows me to give that sense of pride to that community and you know now it's a, a, in a country that is my community but that feeling to give back to that community and so that when I get get on the line, start line, I can actually share that with others, um, hopefully share the success, and I have, uh, but also be able to share my experience and the, and the, the hardships once in a while of uh, high performance sport. And along that same vein, what advice would you give to kids that, uh, you know, just to get out there and follow their dreams? Uh, I think the best thing is just keep doing it. If you have a, set that goal, set that dream and, and go for it. Um, for me, it was I wanted to show people my ability and not my disability. Um, and I think everyone can take uh, that and apply it to whatever they want to do and achieve great things. Is there anything you can't do? Monkey bars. <laughs> good answer. A really good answer. Good answer. You're very impressive. I absolutely loved having you on the show today. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Let's finish out this hole. All right, sounds good. This needs to go in. A chance for back-to-back -back birdies. Oh. Oh, I don't think I hit it. No. A good oh. par, though. Yeah, I'm happy with pars. Yeah, that's not a bad par. Big putt. Big she putt. makes this. Yep. You guys tie the match. If she mm -hmm. misses it, it's all yours. A little bit of a hop and a skip. Oh. Stay. Oh. oh, good putt. Good par, we'll give you that one. I'd yep. be happy with that on any given round, but when it has a chance for winning the hole, then man, I want to make that. Yeah. You know what, with that, you and I tied that hole, which means the victory is yours. Congratulations. 5.7 again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, there's other things to be awarded as well. One of them is the shot of the show. For that, you get that as well. So we want to give honorable mention to the chip that you just had. Yeah. We just saw that. So let's take a look at the pro tip from number one. This is Mark's tee shot. Knock it on, Mark. Good oh, swing. yeah. Look at this. Yeah, this? yeah. There it is. Two hops on Great shot. Nice. Wow. Just I'm liking like that, that one. Eh? Great shot, Mark. Two of them, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Thank you. There was a lot of great shots out there today. Very well played. I'm impressed. You were playing better than we were with two arms, so good for you. There were, yeah, there are a couple of occasions there. Yeah, plus the positive attitude. I absolutely love it. On behalf of Dog Island Brewing, we want to give you some beer. Awesome. For your off season. Yeah, yeah. Nothing Thank better you. with golf. Yes. No, exactly. Also, I'll hang on to these for you. Thank you. On behalf of FYI Doctors and Nike Vision, mm -hmm. you can go get, uh, I don't know if you have prescription glasses or not, but nope, either nope. way, you can have either prescription or non-prescription sunglasses <laughs> from Nike Vision and FYI Doctors. All right. So go and enjoy that as well, thank okay? Thank you. Thank you so much for coming out here today. We want to thank Heather Glenn. What a cool golf course. And thank you for watching. Keep in mind, you can catch us every Sunday right here on Global at 1230. If you miss any of our episodes, they're all online at proamgolfshow.ca. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Pro Am Golf Show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Oh, Grody to the max. 90s reference. I don't know what I kind of bug I squished there, but it was gnarly.